Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, we're going to show you how to turn the time-lapse feature off on your Canon PowerShot A2200. So now what you're going to do with your Canon PowerShot A2200, you got the function button right in the middle. And you see you want to have it set to the camera and not to the time lapse. So all you do is hit the function button and make sure it's on the camera itself and not the little one that looks small. Like I said, you click the function button and because I have no memory card in there, it's going to keep saying no memory card. And you want to make sure your video is at 1280, which is going to be full HD resolution. And like I said, you hit the function button that's right in the middle of the settings and make sure you have the little camera highlighted and not the other one because the little one right there is going to be for like time lapse feature and you really don't want that. You want the actual video camera so you're just going to hit the button left or right depending on which side you want your video and you want it to be at 1280 which is 720p resolution. So for the people who are asking, hopefully this helped you guys out. It's a very quick and simple way to make your videos go from time lapse back to standard video. And make sure you have it on the actual camera because it will say standard mode and not like time lapse. So as always, I'm Trevor from Trevor's Film Reviews. Remember to rate, even if you hate, comment and subscribe. And if you got and if you want to save memory on your memory card, you want to shoot in at 640 by 480. That's going to give you the black bars on both sides of the screen. If you're uploading videos to the internet, you probably want to do the full HD resolution so you can upload them to Facebook or YouTube in 720p. And remember, the little black dot at the top of the camera is the actual microphone so you don't want to cover that up because that will muffle the audio but that is how you turn the time lapse feature off on the power shot which I think shoots phenomenal video so let me know in the comment section below if this video was useful and if it helped like I said you click the function button in the middle of the camera it says function set and then you click at the top of the screen where it will show a video camera or a tiny video camera and you make sure it's on the big video camera which will start recording standard video and not crazy time lapse. 